Downing Street has warned hundreds of protesters who set up camp outside Heathrow that any disruption to the running of the airport would be unacceptable. The demonstrators oppose the construction of a third runway at the airport and are demanding urgent action to tackle global warming. Gavin Hewitt reports from Heathrow. On a lane close to Heathrow today, police stop and search a van heading to join a protest against climate change. Just half a mile to the north of the airport, tents have been planted by climate change activists, digging in for a week of protests against plans to expand the airport and air travel. There is a real fear that the world's busiest international airport could be disrupted during its most hectic week of the year. Downing Street said today any disruption to passengers was unacceptable. This has really been going on all day. The unloading of supplies from vehicles carrying them across a fence in the hope of building up a large campsite here just close to Heathrow. And they hope that by the end of the week, there'll be between 1,000 and 1,500 people here. The campaigners say they won't try and get on the runways, but illegal protests could not be ruled out. Now, there will be thousands, tens of thousands of people using Heathrow this week, ordinary families going on holiday. Mm. Are you going to disrupt them? We've been clear all along that our aim is not to target passengers. Our quarrel is not with passengers or individuals. It's with BAA. It's with the corporations driving climate change. But others supported direct action. Do you think it would be justified during this protest to delay passengers' flights? Uh, yes, I do. Why is that? I think that this is a really serious issue. Um, there's a lot of people taking short flight, short haul holidays um, and it's not a sustainable thing to do. We need to be serious about what we're doing. We need to be in, in people's faces and I think we just need to really get this message across. Having occupied private land, the protesters today prevented the press from entering the camp. One organiser told me some protesters didn't want their faces shown and the police do expect some trouble later in the week. There were about 500 officers on duty today and some protesters accused the police of using stop and search powers without reason. This will be a significant public order event. It's very close to Heathrow Airport, which is a counter-terrorist backcloth. All officers have been briefed to use their powers robustly, but they must be lawful and they must be proportionate. These protests have strong support from some local communities whose houses will be bulldozed to make way for a third runway. BAA, the airport operator, accepts that Heathrow is so busy any disruption will hurt it. Anything which interferes with flows in and out of the airport will have an impact on our passengers and on their ability to fly out and come back in. There are big arguments at stake here. Many believe the expansion of Heathrow is crucial to Britain's economy. Others say that expanding air travel flies in the face of the government's commitment to reduce greenhouse emissions. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Heathrow.